Somebody told me you can't dunk, man. Who? So, one of the biggest mistakes I made during my dunk journey. The streets is talking. They saying they ain't seen you in a minute. You ain't been dunking. You ain't been doing nothing. So, if a lot of you are trying to dunk for the first time, that was a really good example. Where you at? Right here. Where you at? What's good, guys? I'm here at Next Level Basketball. It's a tough rim. I'm exhausted. Four hours of sleep. Take you through a little bit of my training. Welcome to my channel. This is my dunk journey. And along the way, I want to help you achieve your dunk goal. So let's go. Oh, almost got a baby one. All right, so I'm dealing with this hamstring injury, really pushing it with deadlifts last week kind of took the week super light, not really feeling that great off it. So today I'm just doing some light jumps, getting some, a feel for me. One thing I love about jumping is that it shreds me up. It really gets my body so much blood flow that like even if once a week, even if I'm not really pushing myself that hard, I like to get that feel of jumping to keep that rust out. Another thing I'm noticing today is when I push really hard, I'm like really loading up, I'm taking off slower and I feel strong, but if I just go for it and just kind of go a little quicker, I'm taking off effortlessly. So just play with it, have fun, see how your body's doing. Oh yeah! So one of the biggest mistakes I made during my dunk journey was just doing this. Just doing one angle, one toss, one type of dunk. So whew. my mental energy's there, but I didn't get the first part of my sleep cycle because we have a circadian rhythm and I'm learning and why we sleep. Talk about that on my podcast. But yeah, my body feels super tired, don't feel bouncy, but I feel like I just wanna get that good blood flow to get sweating. Oh! So if a lot of you are trying to dunk for the first time, that was a really good example because I'm just simply not jumping high enough. And I know that feeling of when I was that high, I thought I could dunk because my whole hand hit the rim and I got the ball over the rim. But a lot of times, one of the biggest mistakes I see is that people thinking they can dunk and they're saying, why do I keep missing? Why do I keep missing? But they really just have to get a little higher to stay on top of the ball. First 10 foot dunk in 2020. All of these rims are half an inch short to a couple inches short, but I like to measure to the fraction of an inch. This is definitely 10. I haven't dunked in at least maybe four or five months on a legit rim. So see if I get my first one on a bad day. All right, I gotta get one. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm gonna break the wall. I don't think you get that. Steve, hey. Somebody told me you can't dunk, man. Who? The streets is talking. They saying they ain't seen you in a minute. You ain't been dunking, you ain't been doing nothing. Where you at? Right here. Where you at? They call me Telly. <laughs> My guy Stevie here says he can duck, man. I'm not buying it. This guy. I'm not buying so. it, man. Nope. You don't look like nobody I've seen duck before. See what I said? I told you he can't dunk. <laughs> 